My name is Daniel Velasquez. I graduated with a civil engineering degree in 2015. I'm Jasmine Velasquez. I graduated with an electrical engineering degree as well in 2015. My name is Mario Velasquez, graduated December 2011, electrical engineering degree. My name is Jose Velasquez. I'm a senior mechanical engineer and I'll graduate this May. My name is E.C. Velasquez and I'm a class of 2020. Growing up, I really had no sense of what the word meant. You know, engineering, like what is that? I have, had no idea. But when I went to OSC Ogmogi, the tech center, and my professor, it took him to tell me, you know, I think you can do this. I think you could go to a school and study engineering, electrical engineering, I, I believe in you. You know, with all the experience that I've learned from my dad in construction, you know, I had that passion to do things with my hands. So I, I just, that moment, I was like, I need to go figure this out. And that's how I made it to you. I build houses. I'm always in construction. I would take Mario, I would take Danny. And, and, and for me, I always thought I want them to be, to have it a lot more easier than I did. I would take them to work. I would see what they would like because I, you know, I work in all phases of construction. And if I would be doing drywall, be doing framing or electrical or plumbing or whatever, I would see what they like. Mario would say, Dad, can I work with electricity? Yeah, okay, I'll show you. So I kind of steered him toward that, you know, that kind of uh, work. I think it all started with Mario. Since he was the first one to go into engineering, that, that word in my mind came up, and that's when I started looking into civil engineering. I was like, oh, they have some, an engineer that could do this, so. I actually didn't want to come to college, um, and I expressed these feelings to my dad and I remember what he told me. He said, what do you have to offer the world? And I was like, well, nothing, I guess. I don't really know. And um, he said, go get an education. Go to college. Acquire some skills so that you can be able to help people. It just made complete sense to me. And I said, OK, I'm going to do that. And that's when I decided to do engineering because I knew it would give me the skills that I would need to go around and uh, help people solve problems. You know, we, I came from Mexico when I was 15 years old, and um, I like to study, I like the school, but it was too hard over there, you know, to go to college and everything. And um, I just went to third grade, and it's amazing that today I have uh, engineers. So I'm so proud of my children, and um, I'm, so, I'm so thankful to God, you know, because he's the one that is doing everything for me, because he permitted me to come over here to the United States, and, um, and I have a wonderful family. One of the things that I want to say to my parents is that just thank you for making everything easy. Uh, when I would be stressed, I would just call either of them and they would make me smile or they would make me laugh and I would completely forget about the final that I was going to, you know, the stress of the final or the stress of the exam. There was just always a, a bright light, you know. I just wanted to say, you know, thank you for everything and, and thank you for everything you're still doing for me. My dad, he does a lot for me. He takes me to work, makes me go to work kind of, <laughs> but I, I love him for that. My mom, she made me feel like the smartest person in the world and the best looking <laughs> even though because freshman 15 is no joke <laughs> and I'll come home and she'd just be like you look good Nino you look good <laughs> and then my grandma would be there and she'll say it too and I believe it so <laughs> I just want to thank you for just giving me that confidence and just making me believe that I can do what I want <laughs> Nothing's in my way because they got my back. Growing up, the way they, they were with, you know, having to pay the bills and everything, their hard work is the is basically what motivated me to do engineering as well. My dad working 24-7 and still have, raising five kids. My mom also working with him 24-7 and raising us. Their hard work, their motivations, everything behind what they do is what I really, really love about them. All you is like a family, and they, they, they help each other. You know, at first, at first you're like, oh, what's gonna happen here? Are they gonna be okay? But after, after we got to know them, 
and, and, and the people around there, you felt like, hey, they're all right here. They're going to be safe. OU has kind of created another sense of family for us, too, because the advisors here, they're like, one particular advisor, Elisa Morales, she was like a mother to me here. I remember how I would just walk into her office uh, when I was feeling a little bit sad or a little bit afraid of decisions that I had to make, and she was there to offer advice. And that's what OU did, you know, they, they hire the right people, they put the right people here in place so that they can motivate you and be a brother, be a sister, be a cousin, be a, a mom, be a father. So um, that's, that's how OU has been a family for me. My name is Marv Velasquez and these are my siblings, my family, and OU Engineering has changed our lives.